मोहम्मद उमर फारूक बायोलॉजिकल वीडियो प्लीज़ मेक श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड शेयर आज की दी क्वेश्चन फॉर आंसर एंड कमेंट अबाउट दी आर्ट वर्क सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट द जी स्कीम इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट चेन दैन द प्रेजेंट इन द प्लांट एंड नॉट इन एनिमल सो द जी स्कीम इज मीनिंग ऑफ दैट वी विल डिस्कस इन फर्दर स्टेप बाई स्टेप सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल बिल्ड द कंसेप्ट अबाउट दैट इन द प्लांट बेसिस so first of all the electron and proton transport from water to nadp plus to produce nadph2 and atp so that's atp and nadp is useful for the making sugar so that is the important things so we will discuss about the equation of the basically the structure equation of the hydrolysis um, and uh, that's the photolysis it is known as because the light used to break down of the uh, water that's the light uh, break down of the water is due to the photosynthesis and oxygen evolving complex that's present in the uh, so here is the water which that are convert into the proton and electron two electron two proton and half oxygen that mean half oxygen mean the water will be Uh, separating two water molecules separating to produce one molecule of oxygen so that's simple so here is the basically uh, one and two uh, proton and two electron will is responsible for the making to making to nadph2 there's a nadph2 is used uh, that's enzyme is known as nadp plus reductase enzyme that's the reductase enzyme activity to reduce the nadp plus to into nadph2 so here is the cell cell contain chloroplast chloroplast sorry so cell contain micro uh, micro mitochondria vacuole nucleus and cell wall that's present and there's a chloroplast is present so chloroplast biochemistry is here the chloroplast absorb water uh, in the into the thylakoid that's the thylakoid membrane are present and that's known as grana and the single is known as granum there is a stack like structure which that compose of the uh, chlorophyll and xanthophyll and keratinoids structure so here the light will be dispersed uh, light will be fall on the thylakoid membrane then thylakoid membrane in the presence of water and light and carbon uh, basically uh, presence of water and for to convert nadph and atp then nadph and atp used for the fixation of carbon dioxide in the calvin cycle so that is known as calvin cycle which produce the sugar that's the whole process of photosynthesis so is the production of sugar by a calvin cycle we we have discussed about the previous video but i uh, know it's uh, we will discuss in another so here the light when light fall on the thylakoid membrane the thylakoid membrane contain different types of uh, complexes that is a photosystem 2 and electron transport chain thylakoid membrane contain there are many uh, basically protein complex which that are uh, proton uh, electron basically electron carrier protein enzyme that is known as electron carrier protein enzyme also present and protein also present so the photo uh, photolysis which um, uh, how hydrolyzed water will be convert into to two proton and two electron then the two electron will be uh, going to the photosystem 2 to photosystem 1 and light reaction will be occur and nadph produce nadph2 produced by a one water uh, separating into proton and electron and half oxygen will be produced that's half to half two water molecule will be responsible for the making a one molecule of uh, oxygen which that is meaning that um, oxygen will be released from the stomata that's a stomata are present in the uh, hypocuticle basically in a monocot sometime is epicuticle also present basically epidermis and uh hypodermis also basically sorry hypodermis is responsible for the um, making uh, releasing of the uh, oxygen due to uh, stomata so here the uh, formula of the uh, chlorophyll with that a tail is a phytol tail and porphyrin ring that's a ring is present from here that's a ring is used for the absorption of light 
so the uh, methyl group are present in the A side that's a chlorophyll A is known and uh, carbon uh, hydroxyl group if attached that's known as chlorophyll B that's the uh, structure is here so now we will talk about the next is the here is the thylakoid membrane we will discuss about the membrane structure and biochemistry so here is the lumen and outer side is stroma and there's the single is granum and multiple multiple is granum grana so the thylakoid membrane and the here is the membrane thylakoid membrane contain the photosystem 2 there's a photosystem 2 is photosynthesis oxygen evolving complex that is known as so here the water will be uh, water will be used as a um, basically uh, proto uh, basically photon 680 um, nanometer range which that are excite the first electron and that's the going to from here to here the oxygen will be removed that's the oxygen release uh, from the uh, water splitting from here or from we can say that the plant will be release oxygen so here is the mn protein which that is responsible for the carrying electron from here to here then here is the pair of mn which are present which that going the inside of the uh, photosystem uh, to there the two magnesium special pair which that are transferred the uh, electron to plastoquinine that's plastoquinine is very important things that's plastoquinine absorb the proton from the stroma and here then the two proton will be absorbed by a two plastoquinine and we will discuss in the uh, simplify to here there's here is the two electron two proton and one plastoquinine which that are convert into the uh, reduction of the plastoquinine h2 so here and it's reversible reaction that can be reversed from here one hydrogen release one electron release and ultimately one more and that's again will be separating so here is the basically here is the BEF there's a cytochrome complex are present which that are accept the electron but release the proton into the lumen that's the into the lumen that will be released and two electron will be passing on to the plastocyanin uh, it means the two plastocyanin uh, which is responsible for the making two electron uh, to accept the electron and that the plastocyanin uh, which that is go further uh, uh, farther away and that's go into the photosystem one that's a photosystem one again light absorbed by a 700 nanometer there's a 700 nanometer wavelength of the light will be absorbed to excite the electron for the primary acceptor so that the basically here is the ferridoxine harm uh, ferridoxine um, uh, ferridoxine basically um, are present that's the protein with the two pair of ferridoxine except the two electron and nadp H NADP plus reductase enzyme which use for the making NADP NADP plus 2 NADP H2 by a 2 electron and 2 proton we have discussed about in this previous in this tutorial so remember it so here basically ferredoxine and NADP uh, plus reductase enzyme that's a use for the uh, making NADPH2 uh, that is why so here the proton uh, inside into the lumen will uh, pump by a uh, basically um, pump um, by cytochrome that's a proton is too much into the lumen that's go into the by a ATP synthase that's a ATP synthase which use for the from this proton to go inside there's a f naught and f1 uh, part and beta uh, region of the uh, um, f1 region is responsible for the making atp by a hydrogen releasing the six hydrogen release to make one atp so that's simple uh, and proton will be pumped into the stroma so it means the uh, uh, proton gradient will be produced uh, inside and outside 
and inside uh, is more proton it means that the proton will move outward into the stroma so now we will talk about the z scheme model that's a uh, important uh, which that is the in the shape of z structure that's in like same like a z so that's the z uh, scheme electron flow in z style so here is a photosystem 2 that's a photosystem to contain the molecules of chlorophyll that's in the arrange in the form of molecules which that are absorbed different type of uh, light range there's a different type of light range and uh, hydrogen will uh, or water will be split into uh, oxygen proton and electron there's proton and electron electron will be go inside the photosystem and oxygen will release evolve from the stomata that stomata is release the oxygen so it's important so here the electron will jump by a different accepting the um, photon which carry the energy and there's the basically chemical uh, central molecule which that are excited by a uh, photon 680 nanometer range of the photon which that is responsible for the exciting exciting the electron then excite the pri primary acceptor will accept that is known as mn um, protein so two electron will be uh, accept uh, by two mn protein uh, central protein so then go into the for fighting there's a few fighting is a protein which that are two electron accept and there's two electron accept to transfer farther into the plasto uh, basically plasto so here the plasto will be accept two electron um, by uh, adding two proton so two proton add to convert here is here basically you remember from here now we will discuss about this equation so here there is a conversion of the plastoquinine sorry so here basically remember it so two proton two electron convert into two plastoquinine h2 so that's plastoquinine h2 will be again convert by a releasing of proton into the uh, lumen into the basically uh, into the lumen that's the uh, lumen into the lumen and there's releasing of the proton is that due to the losing of energy and that's losing of energy is convert into adp into atp that's energy in store into the atp that's accumulation of atp used for the making sugar so here the cytochrome cytochrome b f complex that is uh, absorb the two electron and there's electron go into the further Plastocyanin. There's a plastocyanin is a copper containing protein which that accepts the two electron by a two plastocyanin. That's two plastocyanin, uh, two PC which accept the two electron and then go into the uh, plastocyanin from here. There's a two plastocyanin will go from uh, basically here is the plastocyanin. Sorry. So here is a plastocyanin that's a go into the two electron and there's two plastocyanin will transfer the uh, electron to the photosystem one. So remember here is the photosystem one which that contain the primary uh, acceptor of electron that's excite the range of the primary acceptor is the photon is basically P700 nanometer. Uh, this, uh, basically p700 uh, picometer basically uh, nanometer uh, 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 maybe uh, some nanometer is no so here is the basically uh, proton acceptor that is the uh, primary acceptor which that are a uh, two electron accept by a uh, another uh, iron iron sulfur complex which that are contain and ferridoxine which again accept the uh, two electron and then two electron will go into the basically from here that's the proton are present is too much okay and that's proton is present is here also right and this proton is conversion uh, due to the photolysis uh, due to the water splitting 
and there's a water splitting uh, is not present basically is uh, due to the photo system um, one basically if photo system one is splitting too, so that's why important things is known as um, um, photo system uh, hydrolysis that's occur and two proton and two electron is responsible for the making of NADP plus into NADPH2 so NADP plus reductase enzyme is used for it uh, after the transfer of the ferredoxine protein to the uh, NADP plus reductase enzyme that's a protein complex is another so here is the con conversion of NADPH2 reductase uh, NADPH2 that's a deduction from here so the important things that if ATP is not too much for making the sugar so the cyclic um, cyclic uh, activity will be occur that is known as cyclic photophosphorylation that is the photophosphorylation mean the making of the ATP by a photon mean light that is known as photophosphorylation that is a photophosphorylation is again there is a uh, primary acceptor will go back uh, due to the less amount of ATP that is again go into the primary acceptor into the MN protein that's go again the cycle will be continue and the no not NADPH2 produce because the ATP is not too much so first uh, first the uh, chemical reaction will be concentrate on the making ATP and, uh, and after ATP will be complete uh, too much accumulation of ATP then go for the next reaction to making NADPH2 that's both NADPH2 and ATP used for the making uh, to go into the Calvin cycle to make uh, basically sugar so here is the uh, chemical reaction with that uh, equation which that shows that NADP uh, which that convert by the presence of water into convert in the presence of light and chloroplast as a catalyst that's NADPH2 will be produced and oxygen will be released so the two NADP uh, convert into the water uh, attached with the another equation is that the NADP plus water plus two ADP uh, plus two uh, inorganic phosphate that's convert into the in the presence of light and chloroplast in the reaction center that's the two NADPH2 produce and two ATP produce and two uh, basically one molecule of oxygen will be produced that's oxygen will be released from the stomata if if the C4 cycle is not present basically C3 cycle is present if C4 cycle is present so the oxygen is used as a making uh, sugar by a fixation of the um, rubisco enzyme that's a rubisco enzyme which that oxygenase enzyme which fix the oxygen to produce sugar so that's importance here so here is a proton which that go down and there's a down gradient which that are energy store in the form of ATP so that's important keep remember and uh, that's the electron when will down there's a downward of the electron will also making the protein uh, ATP storage into the form of bond that's a phosphate bond right so that is the basic concept uh, basically it is uh, used for more accumulation of ATP that is used for the more accumulation because less amount of ATP is not trigger the Calvin cycle so at last uh, as long as if not ATP is too much then the cyclic activity of the photophosphorylation will be occur so that's important and these ATP and NADPH2 which go into the Calvin cycle to make sugar by the fixation of carbon dioxide that's a carbon dioxide is fixed by the uh, this process and there's a sugar will be produced so that's in the stroma but this electron transport chain in the form of Z scheme is in the lumen uh, so thanks for watching please subscribe the channel